In this video, I'll be doing another Five Below makeover. Basically just customizing and painting on random things from Five Below and making them creepy cute or derpy with a twist or sometimes both. I haven't done a true Five Below makeover in a while. I've done like fidget toys and squishmallow videos and obviously I got all that stuff in Five Below. But I haven't done a true Five Below makeover where I just take random junk that I find there and paint on it. I think the last one was that evil princess video where I introduced my kitten Tootmeister, or as I call him, Tootsie. And that was a couple months ago, so I figured it's time to do another one of these. First things first, I picked up this pillow. It's checkered, so that's what caught my eye. It might just be me, but I feel like the black and white checkered pattern is kinda creepy cute. That's the vibe it gives me, so of course I had to get it. It's very squishable. Very soft. I don't know if it's filled with the same stuffing as Squishmallows. It sure feels like it, though. I can't tell the difference. Speaking of Squishmallows, can you find these three teeny tiny Squishmallows that I needle felted? They're hidden throughout this video. Good luck, and may the odds never be in your favor. <laughs> So for this pillow, I'm going to be painting my favorite bear, Smelly. Smelly is a hideous and mean and grumpy pink bear that smells like turds. The thing is, for whatever reason, painting on fabric is very difficult for me. I don't like painting on fabric, so this is going to be a bit challenging. But I don't like challenges, so I'm going to be cheating. <laughs> I pulled out some light pink felt, the closest color match to Smelly that I could find. I was just going to be bold and go for it and start cutting it up. But then I thought, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be so rash. Masterpieces require some planning. A bit of sketching. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm basically just outlining and cutting out Smelly's base shape. I had sketched out what was supposed to be his feet, but I amputated those off for now. As for his arms, I cut them out and then added those on top separately. I wanted them to be more 3D, and I'm bringing the feet back. At first I made them perfect little circles, but perfection just isn't me, so I flattened them out a bit. Now that's more like it. Smelly has an underbite situation. I love underbites, overbites, messed up teeth, gives things character. Cute, cute. I made the base shape and everything with felt, which, in my opinion, looks pretty good so far. I even replaced the ice cream cone with felt that's a shade darker. I think that's looking more like a cone now. A step in the right direction, at least. Overall, not bad. Not bad at all. I placed them on the pillow just to get an idea of how things will look. Apparently, they're gonna look disappointing. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but Smelly's pretty see-through. I didn't expect things to be this transparent, but no worries. I can fix this. I'm gonna put white felt underneath. I'm hoping that an extra layer of felt under there will help the situation. I don't think I need to do the smaller pieces, so I'm gonna leave those alone for now. To stick everything together, I'm relying on my old faithful, fabric hot glue. I'm gluing Smelly onto the pillow. There's no turning back now. I'm using felt to make my character, mostly because if I mess up, it's easy to undo it. Whereas, going straight in with fabric paint on the pillow would be less forgiving. With that being said, I am still going in with fabric paint for some smaller details, like his eyes, under eye bags, and can't forget his large, pronounced double chin, of course. That's his trademark. I did add in the melting ice cream on top of his head, and even some splatters of it here and there. But spoiler alert. His signature sprinkles will not be making an appearance today. I just didn't feel like it today, so I'm leaving him off. Speaking of sprinkles, Smelly is a sprinkle spice, which means he's halfway between a sparkle butt and pure evil. Smelly is the kind of person who realizes the world isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It's got a dark side to it, and he can appreciate both. And I like that about him. The fabric paint is pulling everything together. This is finally starting to look like a cone. I added some separation and shading between the limbs with hot pink. I felt like that was necessary. And then I outlined everything in black, which was a good call in my opinion. I debated whether to add some drips around him or not. Ultimately, I did, and I think that was a good call too. I feel like the drips make him look more like he's part of the pillow, like he's fused to it. I'm in love with this pillow. I love how done with life he looks. It really captures Smelly's personality perfectly. I don't know where it's gonna end up, but for now, I'll place it right here, on my couch, among all my mom's flower pillows that I stole. Thanks, Mom. Smelly isn't the only familiar face that'll be making an appearance. There's gonna be a whole ton of well-known characters showing their ugly faces today. Step right up and I'll read your fortune. I picked up a deck of tarot cards from Five Below. They're not your average tarot deck. They're kawaii tarot cards. They're associated with witchiness and stuff. That's kind of dark side-ish, right? So that's precisely why I got them. There's a whole deck here. I can't possibly paint all of them. So I'm gonna limit myself to four. I randomly picked out four cards to redesign. Death. 
the devil, the fool, and justice. I'm gonna switch things up and replace the fool with the hierophant. Much better. I'm starting off with justice. Justice. I want a blank slate, so I'm going over it with some gesso. It's taken a couple layers to try and hide all that kawaii-ness. Eventually, I did get to this point. It's a bit textured, though on camera you can't really tell. So for the justice tarot card, I'm drawing the wreck you worm. He's quite adept at serving justice, so I wouldn't mess with him, because he will wreck you. He's very, very tiny, so he's actually not threatening at all. But I still wouldn't get too close. <laughs> I didn't like the way things were looking. Something was off, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm starting over. Previously, I sculpted him holding a weapon that was five times his size. The weapon was an incense stick. But since then, I've gotten rid of the incense stick, and I don't burn any incense anymore. Because a lot of you guys mentioned incense sticks are harmful for cats. I had no idea, so thank you for letting me know. So for today, I've replaced the incense stick with a chainsaw. He distributes sweet justice with his chainsaw. Justice. I like how he's looking this time around, except for the fact that the black paint is cracking. I'm gonna go over that eyesore and fix it later on, so just don't even focus on that. But yeah, I don't have the best handwriting, but I like to pretend that I'm purposefully going for that bad handwriting, quick doodling kind of vibe. Makes me feel better about myself. Up next is the Hierophant card. If you go to cutetarot.com, you can actually find the meanings behind each card. The Hierophant card basically represents conformity doing the right thing, staying within conventional bounds of the status quo. And for some reason, it made me think of sparkle butts, and their goody two-shoeness, and how they cry every time I cut up squishmallows or do anything even remotely cool. I didn't really know how to represent the sparkle butts, so I ended up drawing the sparkle butt frog, who's from an old dollar store video. Moving on, for this card I'm drawing my neighbor, the screaming toddler with space buns. I don't know how obvious it is that she screams a lot, so I'm adding in some words to emphasize that. I know the black is cracking again. Like I said, I'm gonna work on that. This is the devil tarot card, by the way. How fitting. The last card I'll be redesigning is the card for death. A long, long time ago, I drew a Grim Reaper throwing confetti around, which is very evil because, you know, confetti can be a pain to clean up. So yeah, the Grim Reaper is making a comeback. His facial proportions were a little off at first, but I fixed that, so it's all good now. I went ahead and varnished everything. Then I went over the paint to minimize the cracking, and then I varnished everything again. I think these turned out pretty cool. Definitely more my vibe than the kawaii cards. The last thing I picked up at 5 Below was this coin purse. I used to use a little coin purse as a wallet for a really long time until one day Exter sponsored me and sent me this extra wallet. I'm not sponsored this time around, but I really do love this wallet. Upgrades. They're life changing. I can't even begin to tell you how much I hate coin purses. It's just so nostalgic. In a bad way. This coin purse has an attitude. I think she's supposed to be rolling her eyes while claiming she can't even. I don't know what kind of aesthetic this is, but needless to say, it's not my aesthetic. So I'm gonna be painting over it with something much more creepy cute. First I needed to tone down the attitude with some white fabric paint. I then went ahead and sketched out one of the eyeball eating rats, the chubby one to be exact. There's multiple eyeball eating rats. It's a scary world we live in. I haven't drawn these guys in a while. I missed them and their striped prison uniforms and their eyeball eating tendencies. Normally the eyeball eating rats carry around eyeballs because, you know, they always like to have a quick snack on hand. However, today, this chubby rat found something even more precious. A penny. Here's to hoping he doesn't eat that too, though I wouldn't put it past him. To make sure he doesn't peel off of our lovely coin purse, I'm going over it with a couple layers of glossy varnish. This'll help seal him in there for good. I think everything turned out pretty evil today. Except for the sparkle butt frog, of course. My favorite is the smelly pillow. It kinda makes me want to make even more pillows like this. It turned out way better than I thought it would. Subscribe in the name of JUSTICE! justice.